What's up guys, welcome back to the channel here. If this is the first time ever watching one of my videos here, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, so you can stay updated with all the newest videos we are putting out. And uh, this channel is for you if you are a coach or a trainer, if you're looking to build and scale your business. And if you want more info about what I do and how I can help you, uh, just go to my website at buildmysportsbiz.com. All right, you can find everything there. Now, in today's video, I thought very carefully before I decided to shoot this video today, and this is not going to appeal to everyone. But what I will say is, if you're in business to win, like when I say win, you want to help the most amount of clients. You want to have the most dominant program in your area or in your region or in your country. And you want to be the most well-known program that produces results like a machine. If that's you, watch this video. If that's not you, turn this video off, right? Because this is not for anyone who is like, oh, I just want to do this as a side hustle. That's not what I'm talking about here. I don't like to help coaches who have that mindset because uh, doing a side hustle is not a real thing. All right. With that being said, I want to talk about the most important asset that's in your business right now that you might be overlooking, you might be overstepping it, uh, and you might think it's an underrated thing uh, that doesn't really matter. And I'll tell you, this is the most underrated aspect of your business that you should be paying more attention to. And here's what it is. It's two steps. It's collecting data. So getting really good at collecting names, phone numbers, and email addresses. That's number one. All right. So collecting data. Number two, sending emails to the data. All right. I know that sounds really simple. I know it's only two steps. All right. And I try to make it really simple. Me and Cowboy, all right, we live down here in Texas. We don't need to overcomplicate it, all right? We need to collect data and we need to send emails to the data, all right? So what am I talking about? I'm talking about creating and scaling an email newsletter. Again, people who want shortcuts aren't gonna take the time to write an email newsletter. People who want shortcuts aren't going to uh, be consistent with an email newsletter. And when I talk about this, I want you just to like close your eyes real quick and imagine, all right? Imagine like being anywhere. You could be at the grocery store, the movie theater, the restaurant. You could be sleeping. It doesn't matter. You could be anywhere. And wherever you are, a parent in your area or a prospect in your area is reading an email that you already wrote. And you already wrote that email six months ago and it was scheduled to go out. So while you're doing whatever, they are consuming marketing from you. And now let's imagine there's 100 or 200 or 500 or 1,000 or 50,000 or 100,000 people who are reading that message. What do you think that would do to your business? Right? And what if you sent an email two, three, four, five times per week. How do you think that would grow your business? And before you answer that in your head, if you're like, well, I don't know because I haven't done it. Well, let's think if you haven't done it, you're not going to know. But the average person, the average coach I talk to, they'll tell me they don't want to email. They think it takes too time and they think that uh, people on the email list do not want to read emails. It's totally false. Right? That's how you get the word out. That's how you provide more value. Like if you're on my email list, like you're going to get an email from me three, four times a week, minimum. I used to send a daily newsletter seven days a week. Um, and I've done that for multiple types of businesses. So you're hearing it from someone who's actually doing it on a regular basis, sending emails with offers, sending emails with value. Sending emails with advice, that positions you as the authority. 
And it doesn't matter to me if you have 10 people on your list or 10 million people on your list. It doesn't matter. Like what matters is practicing, learning, tweaking, improving over and over. And trust me, when, when I first found out about email marketing, I was so resistant. I was like, that's so stupid. I'm never going to do that. And it was because when I was in middle school, I was terrible at writing. When I was in high school, I was terrible at writing. Pretty, pretty much cheated on every single English test. <laughs> right? When I was in college, absolutely hated writing. Right? Probably would pay other people to, to write my papers for me because I knew I was so bad. And those were self-limiting beliefs because I said I was bad and I thought I was bad. And when it came down to big boy world, right, with business, I had to learn it. I had to learn how to do that. And I feel very confident, like, and I'm not bragging when I say this, this is just straight facts. I feel very confident that I could get hired by another company right now and they would pay me anywhere between one hundred dollars and $250,000 per year just to write their emails. That's because I have 10, 12 years of experience writing thousands, and I'm serious, thousands of emails. I have thousands of emails that go out per year right now. Right, but why am I writing some emails? Well, that's how you stay in touch with people. That's how you get in front of your audience all the time. That's how you establish authority, right? And I know one of the things that that holds back a lot of coaches. Well, I don't know what email system to use. Right, go to my resources page at buildmysportsbiz.com. Go get Kajabi. And remember, at the beginning of this video, I talked about if you want to be the best, right? Go get Kajabi. You can do everything I'm talking about on there. And you can sell digital products. Okay? But go check out Kajabi. You can get a 14-day free trial on my website. It's sitting right there. It's waiting for you to use. All right? I'm, I'm making your life easier by telling you that because I've been using that. It's exactly what I use. I'm not going to use anything else, and that's what you should use it. All right. So I've already answered your question. Well, what to use? Go use that. All right. Then there's the questions of well, I just I don't know if I'm not time. I hate when people tell me that. Right. I'm a very busy person. Like the only person that really knows how busy I am is a little cowboy behind me. <laughs> We're in this office. All day long, right? I can manage to write emails to three, coming up four different lists, right? Multiple times per week. So how? Well, that's because I've practiced a lot. I've done it. I can write an email now in, in less than two minutes. Easy. Okay? So you just have to practice and commit and say, you know what? My goal is to build out my email list. And if you just have the goal of, I'm going to add one person per day to my email list for the next 10 years of your life, like, there's, there's no reason why you can't be running, running a, six, a high six-figure business. That's up to you, though. Right? And I will tell you, an email list is far more valuable than an Instagram following. An email list is far more valuable than a Facebook following because you're talking directly to the person you're selling to. This is why, like, for, for me, I, I see it's, it's such an underrated thing. And I see a lot of stuff online that that's false, right? There's a lot of people who talk about how uh, being a social influencer is, is more important than having email us. That's absolutely false. Those That's coming from people who have never once in their life written an email, right? And then there's also people who say that you can get like 75% of your emails opened, which is absolutely false, right? This is why people quit when they write emails, right? I know for me, and this would be something I would look at your business so you know, and you can see this in the future, you need to understand the stats of how many people are opening emails, 
And I'll tell you, if you can get 20% or higher, like, I would say even 15 to 20% of people to read your emails, that's really good. And there's a bunch of jabronis on Instagram and Facebook ads and YouTube ads to talk about getting 75% of people to open emails all the time. I promise you that's not true. So don't believe everything you see, right? Don't do that. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are lying about their, their open rate. Now I'll tell you, if I had 75% of people uh, open my emails over the last 12 years, I would be on a yacht right now, not talking to you on YouTube, <laughs> right? Let's make that clear. I'm not going to be on here doing anything. I'm going to be sipping on a, on a whiskey in the Caribbean. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing right now if 75% of people were open to my emails. So it's not true. All right. So this is where you have to have long-term vision. And, and if you watch my videos, I talk about this all the time. You need to be thinking long-term, not short-term. When you think long-term, you know, all right, I'm going to get good at this and I'm going to learn it, and I'm gonna be the best at this. And I promise you, right? I can promise you right now, there's no one in your space, in your city, all right? And I can think of personal trainers, um, anyone that's in soccer, basketball, uh, football, baseball, golf, tennis, any of your competitors, I don't care what sport you're in, cheerleading, wrestling, uh, ice hockey, doesn't matter to me. There's no one in your area who's doing what I'm talking about. So that means you could be the one who does it, right? That's up to you. And I promise you, if they were doing it, I would have already talked to them because I talk to coaches all day long, <laughs> right? And I do a lot of research in every city, every major city, every small city, who's doing what? Been doing that for the last couple of years. Right? So just know most cities out there, nobody's doing this. There are a couple people that are doing it. Most of those people are, are guys and girls in our mastermind. And that's a way that you can ultimately like get clients on demand by how many emails are you sending throughout the week? What are you saying? Why are they opening it? Why are they reading it? Are you following up? And this leads me to my most important point. And this is going to be controversial, but I don't care. Right? It's not who's the best coach. There's a lot of great coaches right now. I talk to a lot of great coaches who are unable to provide for their family. They're awesome at coaching. They've been coaching for multiple years. That's great. It does not come down to who is the best coach. Here's what it comes down to. It comes down to who is the best marketer and who is the best coach. Those things combined make you unstoppable. And if you're just a great coach, these days in, in 2020, it's not going to cut it. That's not going to be the winning formula for a successful business. There's a lot of coaches in my area. I'll tell you, like they're, they're better at coaching than I am. Right? Here's where I absolutely smash them. I smash them in marketing. I run them over like their little bug on the highway and I have an 18 wheeler. I'm just plowing over them because I've spent time on the marketing side. I work on it, right? I practice it. And throughout the years of training with writing emails and training with marketing, it's allowed my business to grow the same way it's going to do for you. And that's why, again, you need to think long-term. If you think short-term with this, it will not work. I could have given up after the first hundred emails I wrote that were absolute garbage, right? I just stayed with it. And remember, I'm a normal dude, right? I don't have any superhuman powers. I can't type a thousand words per minute, <laughs> right? Nothing unique or, or like 
perfect about what I do. Nothing. It's hard work. It's do it. That's why I tell you, I, I always say the opposite of what other people say. Like if you really want to get good, you have to practice and you have to be in it to win it for years. Otherwise you should get out and you can go believe any of those gurus who talk about making a hundred G's and in the, in the next 30 minutes and getting 75% open rates on your emails. That stuff is BS and don't fool yourself. Okay. Don't fool yourself. So that's it guys. Think about what I'm talking about here. Start doing that. Start collecting data and start sending messages to your data. That's it. Like I'm serious when I say this, like during coronavirus, the, the federal government, they're printing money, right? Printing money like crazy. When you write emails, you can print your own money, right? Legally. If you simply just practice and you have that long-term vision, like I'm talking about, that's it guys. I'll see you on the next video uh, here in a couple days. See you later.